So what Kramer's rule uh, does for us is it allows us to use determinants, okay, to solve a system of equations. So here's the formula over here. I've just written this in a generic form, but I'll explain what, how to do it. It's very easy. All you have to do is the denominators, okay, so we're trying to solve for x and y. The denominators, what you want to do is you want to make a matrix, okay, using the coefficients, okay, and the numbers in front of the variables. So we've got a, b, d, and e. So you can see a, b, d, and e, a, b, d, and e. Those are okay, the matrices we're gonna use for the denominator. And what these bars represent is that we're gonna be taking the determinant of that matrix. Now the numerators, what you wanna do, okay, and you'll notice this here is that the solutions, okay, C and F, when we're solving for X, you wanna put C and F in place of the coefficients, okay, that are in front of the, the X variables. But when you're solving for Y, you're gonna to wanna to replace the coefficients, okay, B and E with the solutions C and F. Everything else is the same. So if you want to think of an easy way of doing this, just take the coefficients, a, b, d, and e, write that four times, one, two, three, four, okay? But when you solve for x, replace those coefficients here with the solutions. When you're solving for y, replace the y coefficients here with the solutions. Then all you have to do is take the determinant of the numerator, take the determinant of the denominator, divide, and you've got it. So I'll show you what I mean in these next couple of examples. So we're trying to solve this system of equations here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up Kramer's rule. We've got x equals the determinant of, okay, do the numerator and denominator, and I'll do the same thing for y. So I'll show you kind of how we work through this. So for the denominator, we're just gonna use one, negative two, three, and one. One, negative two, three, and one, okay? But for the numerators, when we solve for x, we're gonna replace the x coefficients with the solutions. We solve for y, we're gonna replace the y coefficients with the solutions. And then we're gonna proceed here. So we've got negative two and one. Here we have one and three. Okay, so are you with me so far? Okay, so now we're just gonna take the determinant. So that's AD, okay, minus BC. So we've got negative three minus negative 10. Okay, so negative three minus negative 10. Okay, divided by one minus negative six. Okay, so if we simplify this, this comes out to, uh, let's see, this is seven, this is seven, so we get one. Okay, now the denominator here is gonna be the same as the denominator here, so we can save a little bit of work by just saying this is seven, but the numerator is gonna be five minus negative nine, which is 14 divided by seven, which is two. So the solution to this system is gonna be one comma 